Oh my gosh, guys. I am like totally obsessed with the latest trend to come out of South Korea. <gasps> Bulgogi beef. Let me show you how to make some. The hell? Who put all this K-pop crap in my kitchen? No, but was it you? <sighs> Uh, okay, that's the last of the K-pop posters. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get to work on the marinade. All right, toss half an onion into a food processor, followed by three cloves of garlic, and this is the important bit, half an Asian pear. It's important because in addition to sweetness, it has enzymes in here that'll help tenderize our meat. Go get them, boys. Chop up everything nice and fine. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any huge chunks left. On to the next step. Okay, transfer our chopped up aromatics into a separate bowl. Let's add one cup of soy sauce. Make it, yeah, make this easy, remove the safety lid. Three tablespoons of sesame oil. One tablespoon of Korean chili paste, otherwise known as gochujang. Oh, and uh, this is some thick paste, so grab yourself a tablespoon sized disher. This is my idea, pay me if you want to use it. And finally, two tablespoons of brown sugar. You know what? I'm gonna add a bit more. I like my bulgogi a bit on the sweet side. Whisk all the ingredients together. All right, let's give it a quick taste test. A bit more chili and a bit more soy sauce. Okay, our marinade's done. Now where's the beef? Right here. Well, this is the lamest joke I ever made. Now, to some of you somewhat familiar with bulgogi, you'll know that it comes in thinly sliced sheets of meat. Now, one huge problem I see too often YouTube chefs doing is that they'll buy a regular ribeye steak and cut it thinly against the grain. And yes, YouTube's Korean cuisine goddess, Mangchi, made this mistake. Bruh. Oh, do I dare question YouTube's Korean cooking queen? Of course! Please don't ever cut a ribeye steak against the grain. Because when you cook it, all the muscle fibers tense up and it becomes so difficult to chew, even with the meat tenderizing enzymes that are in the Korean pear. In fact, I went over this very thing in my Philly cheesesteak video. So do what I did. Go to a Korean grocery store and pick up some thinly sliced ribeye. And we grab two pounds of thinly sliced ribeye and add it to our marinade. Not taking any chances, gonna mix everything in a big bowl. And take half an onion chopped into broad strips like this. Mix everything together with your hands. Really get in there and try your best to separate the layers of meat. Cover this in plastic wrap. You might need two, that's fine. You know what, better season, sorry, let's make it three. And let this marinate for a minimum of one hour, but no longer than 24. There's one thing this video needs. K-pop! <laughs> okay, so after... Uh, sorry about that. Anyway, it's been an hour and our beef is done marinating. Here on the stove, I have a very large nonstick skillet and a really big serving plate. That's where we put our bulgogi once it's done cooking. Okay, set the skillet over medium high heat. And once it heats up a bit, toss in some oil. Then, using a pair of tongs, take our bulgogi and put it into the pan. Dad, 
take some spatulas and try to separate all the layers. Okay, when you no longer see any specks of raw meat, just take our entire skillet of bulgogi, place it on our serving tray. All right, now to do the second batch. Serve your bulgogi with a side of rice and kimchi and dig right in. Okay, all I need is a pair of chopsticks and I swear, my dog Nova wouldn't be such a huge K-pop stan if she did a quick Google search on Korean history. This has been Chase Gun Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Cue angry K-pop stand in five, four, three, two.